Hello, once again, you are welcome to GH Campus, where we have exclusive interview with the first ever female doctor in the field of archaeology, Dr. Abba. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And GH would like to know what motivated you into the field of archaeology as being the first female in Ghana for this title? When I started my undergraduate degree, I realized that there were no female lecturers. So I went through the hands of male lecturers. Then in my third year, I was fortunate to have two female lecturers, but they were foreigners. So I started researching into why we don't have female lecturers in Ghana, and that actually inspired me. But before that, I was not actually given archaeology. I was not really in to come and study archaeology. When I came first year, I came with the intention of coming to do business. Because I came with SS business results. So I wanted to do the, the your inclusion thing, pass through the first year and then get your grade points and go and do your but unfortunately at my time we had a number of um, business students coming in the system. So we're so many that they raised the bar. We were fighting for 3.5. And actually when they saw that a lot of us who had gotten 3.5, they raised it to 3.7. And I was at 3.5. So I had no option than to continue with the courses that I I was given and I remember one medical doctor a doctor of mine I went to hospital and was like what have you been giving are you doing the business I said no doc I didn't get so I have no option than to do archaeology say yes read archaeology read archaeology archaeology is good then I consulted my course advisors as well they said no you are so passionate you are enthusiastic you are inquisitive why don't you do archaeology your your character and everything archaeology will be well with you so actually I started the whole course by searching for women in archaeology when and where do we have women in archaeology? So I saw that we have women in archaeology outside. But what's the problem that when it comes to Ghana, we do not have women in archaeology? So that motivated me to go into gender studies in archaeology. So with this background and inspiration, what advice do you have for our young ladies coming in the pipeline? Since most of them perceive the other courses to be a field of uh, what they mean, lucrative prestige other than that of archaeology. Archaeology is a very broad discipline. And if you study archaeology, Personally, it disciplines you, you are able to understand society, you are able to live with people around you because basically we study everything about human life. So I'll tell them that they shouldn't think about archaeology as just studying the past. We study the current as well. The research, the PhD research I did was into heritage of the people of the Talensi, documenting their tangible and intangible heritage and how best we can parcel or package that heritage in an eco museum for our own enjoyment as Ghanaian first before we think about international tourism. So I'll tell them that archaeology is a broad discipline for them. We study the sciences, we study the social sciences as well, we study the arts as well. Basically when you are doing archaeology, you are doing virtually a, be, a, bit, a bit of every course that is being offered on campus. So you really get a very broad horizon and your thinking and everything is really, really broad. So I will advise them that they shouldn't shun archaeology. I am calling for more women into archaeology because again, there is gender studies which I'm Championing in Ghana for the first time, gender studies in archaeology. We used not to do that in archaeology, but now because I started it, we are doing it. So they should come in and they will see various ways they will gain from archaeology. And apart from that, the prospects of archaeology as well. They can work in every firm, every institution they can think of. Why are you being able to study human beings, to understand human beings, to be able to relate to human beings? And whatever discipline you are finding yourself in, you are working with human beings. So archaeology is a very good course that I would advise them to do. GH is very proud of you and once again, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank that was an exclusive interview with Dr. Abba, the first female in the field of archaeology produced by none less other institutions by the Premier University of Ghana. Thank you one more time. Thank you. Too.